Hey Siri, what should everyone do while watching my video? Hit the subscribe button and the bell next to AJ170's name so you never miss a video. Hey guys, what is up? This is AJ170, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you basically basically how to make a thumbnail and I'm gonna somewhat explain how I make my graphics to an extent now if you guys are wondering why I'm not making a full in-depth tutorial on step by step on how I make my thumbnail or step by step on how I make my graphics the reason why is because I don't want to go on YouTube search something up click on a video and then just see they're completely ripping off my basically every graphic I have on my channel because I, I'm kind of proud of what I make because most of the graphics I make my overlay and basically almost all my graphics except for the did you leave a like pop up because that was made by Daniel Dev on Twitter basically every one of them I spent a few hours making uh, probably the best example would be my overlay you guys see where it shows like like the uh, my social medias top donator and stuff like that I spent literally hours and hours making that guys um, I spent so much time doing that and I'm really proud of that and basically the same thing with my notifications that a lot of you guys love and want to know how I make now I did somewhat explain how I made them but not full in depth because it, I mean it, you guys should be able to figure it out on your own if not then oh well because like I said I don't really want people directly ripping me off now I said I would never make a full on depth video on how to make Photoshop touch I still don't plan on doing it guys if you do want to learn how to make uh, how to use this Photoshop touch app I literally knew nothing about it the only reason why I know how to use it is because of a youtuber Sinou. I don't know how to say it but it's C-I-N-O-U highly recommend him on YouTube guys uh, he makes the videos on Android but they work on iOS so before I start this video off, can I get 170 likes? Also, if you new, support the 170 and subscribe. So I'm going to meet you on my iPhone. So as you guys see, I'm on my iPhone now. You're going to need two apps, which is Fonto and Photoshop Touch, guys. Now, both of them are really, really easy to get. Fonto, you get it directly from the App Store. And PS Touch, which is Photoshop Touch, you can get that from a link inside of the description, which you get it from Tutu. So, yes, it can get revoked. So, here are the two apps on the bottom dock on the right-hand corner, as you guys see, Fonto and Photoshop Touch, which are the two you're going to need. Uh, you're going to, like, really, really need them. So, like I said, you get Fonto from the App Store, Photoshop Touch from the actual video, which will be linked inside the description. So, with Photoshop Touch, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a quick example of one of my thumbnails, and then I'm going to show you guys how to get the text on there. So, if I go ahead and go to this thumbnail right here, which was last night's video, as you guys see, there's quite a few layers on here. But if we go ahead and go to the background, you're going to need to make a background, which will take you guys maybe an hour or two, depending on how much effort you want to put into it. <clears throat> and then you guys are going to put layers because each video is going to need something different for my iOS 10 exclusive videos and then my iOS 9 and 10 videos as you guys can see and then even the uh, on the app store parts. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Fonto now and I'm just going to get a quick text. Now my text guys, I actually put it in MLab text. If you guys want to know how to do that, Sinoyu, it's Sinoyu, I don't know how to say his name. I actually made a video on it, C-I-N-O-U. So yeah, like I said, go ahead and recommend him. So before we get that text, you guys are going to make a blank document. Now don't, don't like, just ignore the little height and width stuff. And then you guys are going to make sure it's blank just like that. Then go to the export button, select it, and make sure it is PNG. Always export your videos in PNG, guys. That is very, very important on Photoshop Touch at least. And then go to Fonto, tap the center of the screen, go to Photo Albums, go to Moments, and then you guys are going to select a blank picture, which is right next to the Today thing. And then there it is right there. So now we're going to select Add Text in the center, on the center of the screen. And then I'm just going to go ahead and type an example. You guys would put whatever you want that you're actually going to make for the video. Now, the reason why I didn't go full in-depth is because I didn't want to make this video over 20 minutes long. And I, I just didn't want to do that. I mean, even with fast-forwarding, which is what I'd have to do, it'd be over 20 minutes. So once you guys get that done, make sure you save it with Fonto as a PNG, guys. Make sure you do that. Very, very important. And then we're going to go back to... Adobe Photoshop Touch. Now you guys can put it in MLab format if you guys want. Very easy once you get the hang of it. Like I said, Sonoyu has a video on how to do that, guys. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to basically, you guys are going to need to make some type of background. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Blank Document. Just tap OK. And then we're going to go ahead and hit that and symbol. We're going to do fill in stroke. We're just going to fill it in with some random type of color. Doesn't really matter, guys. 
And then from right here, now what we're going to want to do is we're just going to go to the paint and brush tool. You guys can do it however you guys want. Like I said, if you guys want to know how to use this and use it well, I recommend Snow You. So I'm just going to do my style, guys. Don't use my style. Be creative. Do whatever your little hearts desire, guys. So now we're going to put an example. And I always put my text on the left hand side of the screen. So then we'd want to maximize it however we want to get this to look. There we go. That looks really good. And then on the right side, for example, you can put in a picture of the gun or the game or the tutorial, whatever you guys would want, a picture of the app. It doesn't matter. Whatever you guys want, just try not to use clickbait because that is highly frowned upon on YouTube. I can't stand people that use clickbait. I try and do everything legit. I mean, I don't even put tags in my videos because I, I just don't like that kind of stuff. And then, once you guys are done with it, of course, you would export it like I showed you earlier on in the video. Make sure it is as a PNG. So now I'm going to show you, go ahead and show you guys one of my other graphics, my famous notifications. This is my style one, my fat ones that are like kind of like small, like not that long and fat. They don't look like real notifications. So basically how I made this, as you guys see, there's a lot of layers. But what I did is I took a screenshot of a random notification while there is a black background. And then from right there, as you guys see, all those little spaces that are in there, the reason why I did that is because I had to fill in where the actual text was. So if I go ahead and move this other one over, guys, you're going to see a bunch of text from the previous notification because I had to fill it in. I know this is going to seem kind of complicated, but some of you are going to understand it. And then if you guys want to get rid of the background, go ahead, tap show pointer, do the polygon tool, and then you guys are going to want to zoom in. And then you're going to want to basically start it and you're just going to basically crop it all the way over. And then you guys are going to hit that little dash square, hit inverse, and then hit clear. Now I'll be showing that later on inside the video. Now here is my other style, which is the one I recently started using to make my notifications look a little bit more real. Now, like I said, guys, it just takes a little bit of creativity and a couple of hours of time. Unless you're like a master at it, you might be able to do it in five minutes. Now there's two ways you guys can actually get the app icons. Now if you're not jailbroken, you guys are going to need to take a screenshot. So I'm just going to take a screenshot right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and go back to Photoshop Touch. Now, whatever app you guys are going to want to get from there to put inside your photos uh, inside of your thumbnail. So, example, I'm just going to do Safari right here. Now, I'm not going to go into a full depth tutorial. Like, I'm not going to make this look spick and span and perfectly circular. No, I'm just going to do the easy way out. Go to Show a Pointer. Go to the Polygon tool. Go ahead, zoom all the way in. And then basically you guys are going to want to start on the edge of the icon and then just slowly go all the way around. Now I'm not going to make this completely perfect. I'm just going to do some crappy little edges right here. Just use your guys' imagination. Do some Spongebob style imagination and pretend it is a perfect circle. You guys are going to hit that little dash square. Go to inverse and then clear. And as you guys see, we just have that. Now let's pretend that I saved that and that looks perfect. As you guys see that 221 inside the background looks pretty pretty decent. Then you guys would want to hit save, go to the export button, save to PNG, select it, and then make sure you select PNG not JPEG and then you guys would hit OK. Then what you'd go, you'd go back to your guys' thumbnail and you would actually put it in there. Really really simple to do, not hard at all. So here's my thumbnail right here. You guys would put whatever you guys want inside here. Be creative. Try and make it look good. Like I try to go for a simple look that gets the point across. Because I don't, I don't want to do one of those super advanced thumbnails that just look completely crazy. I'm not really into that type of stuff, guys. Now, if you want to put thumbnails inside of your videos, there are two different ways. Now, I don't use this way. I use a different way. But you guys can go to Studio. Then what you guys are going to do is go to the video you uploaded. If you guys are wondering how I upload videos, I don't use the YouTube app because that takes two hours to upload a single video that's 10 seconds long. I use a paid app on the App Store called You Upload. You guys are basically going to the edit of the video and you guys will put in your thumbnail. Now, I'm not explaining this step by step because this is pretty simple. I don't think I should need to do this step by step. If you guys need further instructions, then I'm sorry. You guys are going to have to ask your parents. And basically what I use is I use Puffin. I use the free version from the App Store because you don't need the paid version, of course, guys. So basically, I open up Puffin, I go to YouTube.com, I log in, I go to my channel, I go to Video Manager, and then here it is right here. So you go to the video you uploaded, go to Edit. Now you guys are going to want to zoom in to where it shows all of the thumbnails. Now it should say something along the lines of Set Custom Thumbnail or Change or something like that. You guys want to zoom in, change it, and then put in your own custom thumbnail through the photo library. And if you guys are getting paid for YouTube, go ahead and select Monetization basically check mark whatever you guys want hit save changes and you're done 
as simple as that guys I didn't want to do a full in-depth tutorial because I didn't want this video to be over 20 minutes long so that is gonna be just about it for this video guys this is AJ 170 signing out see you guys next time